Oh. He's all beat up like Cole. Watch out, Amy. Now everybody knows this guy right here, the crappie, is one of the most delicious fish you could possibly eat. But in today's video, we want to know how they compare to one of these guys right here. A big old bass. What do you guys think? What's gonna taste better? Let's find out. Oh, that time you saw it. Yep, that's not a crappie. Oh, no, no wonder it's freaking hard to catch. Dang it. Wow, we got one of these stupid bass, Cole. Gross. Should have kept my spinner cricket on there. <laughs> oh, it's a large mouth too. Yuck, we can't even keep one of these ugly things. Emmy, what do you think about that? That's not gonna be a part of our challenge. It's a largemouth bass, isn't it? <whistles> There's gotta be some bass out here that are big. Some of these Marcuses. That's probably not a bass, but if it is, it's big. That's yeah, a bass. Well, we probably should try to catch some of these guys. Oh, he's not big. I'm dumb. Emmy, this is for you. Hey, if it's over, what, 20, we get to keep it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 21. 21, he goes into the creel. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Way down there. Jesus. Well, that's called catching a bass fish with a, a scoping bait. See guys, they don't just catch crappie, they catch a bass too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dumb. Find out. Oh shit. <laughs> Not a jar. Not a jar. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I freaking put it on his nose as he was swimming to the bottom. <laughs> Bring him here. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was so much more fun because I was so confused. Get out of the trees. Oh no. Oh no, we're good. I thought he was in one. He's all beat up yes, like Cole. Watch out, Amy. Amy, we got a bigger one. Amy, we got a bigger oh. one. Pow. <laughs> Dude. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. That was awesome. That was so cool. <laughs> we <laughs> dropped the little miniature cricket right in his grill. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna have to see what he tastes like. <laughs> the miniature bait. Look at that. The good thing is, something that was eight pounds bigger tried to eat his ass. Eat his ass? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> a lot of hair in my mouth. We're out here trying to catch some crappies. Saw this blob down there and we got us one. That's cool. Just mix a little six, six and a half ish pounder in there on the little tiny 2.7 divine. You bet. That's a tuna release, Cole. That was cool. Let's try to do some more of that. Game over. Yep. Nom. Okay, he's not that good. He's scrinking. Oh, God, <laughs> watch your nuts, Cole. <laughs> Ow. Jeez. Oh, right in the middle of the shin. <laughs> oh. What they say, Cole. Can I show you how that felt? Sucks to suck. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, dang. You could have just taken it for well, me. I didn't want it to hit me. Now I'm freaking largemouth central. That's Add a, him to the challenge. That's a big one. This is a big spot. So this guy right here probably looks a little bit different than the largemouth you're used to seeing me catch. This is not a largemouth bass, it is a spotted bass. Many of you guys probably already knew that right from the get-go, but you can tell it's just totally different colorations. They have a tooth patch down there on their tongue, different teeth, and different attitude as well. So when I was talking about doing a comparison of which tastes better between the crappie and the bass, these are the guys that we're going to keep and eat today, these spotted bass. People know them as Kentucky bass as well. We actually threw those big largemouth back. We took a picture of them earlier, dumped them back in the lake, so they are uh, alive and kicking. But 
Anyways, we're gonna keep some of these guys. If you're in Texas, you know there is no length limit. We just looked it up to make sure again, but there's no length limit on these spotted bass. And although they are beautiful fish, they are super fun to catch. Uh, they do get really stunted and overpopulated at a lot of these fisheries. And as you can see, even a nice little like 13 inch fish like this guy right here, ton of meat, very thick, healthy fish. So I don't know, we're gonna see. More of you guys should keep spotted bass too, I think, because they do get overpopulated. I should do it more often as well. Please, no! Yep, sorry. Come on. Oh, it's a cricket. Growing cricket. It's a growing one. Spotty! Good job. Dude, I am on him. This is a North Atlantic Spot Edward Bass. Is it gonna taste better than the crappie? Who knows, Amy girl? Did I wake you up from your nap? I'm sorry. There we go. Freaking smoked it. That ain't crappy. I should dig gum. Stud! <laughs> Stud! Fatty. I'm watching him. He's got one with him. Let me know if he's in. Nope, he's not yet. He did have one with him. Did he really? Yeah. Traveling in packs, dude. I tell you. Ah! Fatty, fatty. Meow. <laughs> nope. That guy is yeah. though. Little guy. Is it a spot though? Is it a spot? It is a spot. That's the big one there on the bottom. The one on top didn't look that bad though either. Jeez, there's a bunch out here, man. Fuck. And moved. Right to him? I don't know where my cricket went. I thought it went right to him. I think it's to the right of him. Oh my God, really? Oh, and then he went to eat something right by where my bait was and didn't see my bait. There you go. Oh, that was the big one. <laughs> Dang it, man. I didn't even that might have been get a like full eight, bow into him, pounder. dude. That sucks. He just ran and broke it. He did run right at the same time. Zing. Was that the lead or not? Almost looks like it broke the yeah, line. The, the braid. Yeah. It's like no knot on there at all. Beauty. Careful, Cole. They're big. Jerk him. It's a big one if it's a bass. Or if it's a fish. I don't think it's a fish. Oh my god. Jerk bait. Just went up. That's yeah, not a fish. It's a fish. It's a fing ten pounder. Oh! It was in his fing mouth and he missed it. I stung him on the way out, but not too bad. Oh, mm -hmm. he's in the middle of the tree. He's on it. Do it. Slurp. Oh, <laughs> yep, I'll take that. Cole, I don't think he's hooked very well since he just came up and got it. Here you go. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that is incredible. <laughs> His frame is so big. Oh my. Dude, he just got hooked on the outside of his face too. I can't believe he didn't come off when he was jumping. Freaking 10 pounder on a jerk bait. We just went by this tree. We figured out that the big ones kind of want to be on these deepest trees, but they're starting to really suspend in them since the sun came out. I can't get these damn hooks out of the net, but look at that. Look how that one was in his face. But we went by it the first time and he got it and I just didn't get a hook in him. Went by again. He freaking cooked it the second time. Took a little more convincing, but he's built weird. He's like, he's got a big belly, but he's kind of thin back here. Mm -hmm. He's still probably close to 10 though. 
Yeah, you're right, cool. 936. That time he didn't bump it. <laughs> Good thing I brought him to the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He was suspended in the top of that tree. That wasn't he one was of the stuck. two? No. I don't think so. I think those kept going. It's a big one. Yes, it is. Jeez. <laughs> He's thicker. He's <laughs> full. Good work, dog. Jeez, we're gonna end up having a pretty good little limit of fish here today. <laughs> Look at that on the freaking baby bait. Mm, mm, mm. Isn't that crazy that something that big will do anything like move 10 feet to eat something that tiny but that's what they're doing they're out here eating freaking little threadfin shad that's awesome i love that deal look at this bass look at it look at the bass look at its mouth look at the bass it can fit its whole mouth around your nose See? Kiss it. Kiss it. You used to kiss all the bass. Kiss it. I like your shirt, Osborne. It glows in the dark. Do you, are you sick? Yeah. Sniffles? Wow. Oh. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> what are those? Boat splashes. These are boat splashes. Look at that guy. Oh. What is that? That's not a bass, that's a crappie. You're gonna, you, oh. you gonna lift him up? Dude, you got sniffles for days. <laughs> lift him up, grab him. Look, Cole. Cole, look, Push. look at the crappie, Cole. That's a bass, he said. It's a bass? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, we actually got bass, look at this. Oh. This is weird, but we actually have bass, look. A baby bass! That's right. Is this a big bass or a baby bass? Baby bass! Is that a baby bass? A blue bass. You want more bass? All right, let's see if I can find one. <gasps> Is that a big bass or a baby bass? Oh, no. Get him. Grab him. Hurry. He's going to die. Get him. Grab him. Oh no, will you get him? Here, take him. No? Put him back in here? No. Put him in here. Here, grab him closer to his head. Grab him up here. You get him by his lip. Whoa! Whoa! He's pumped. Grab him. He's got little teeth, huh? Hey, good job. Dude, do you need to blow your nose or something? Hey, Ozzy. I'm gonna go inside and drink 37 beers. Could you clean all these fish for me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. We'll see you inside. We had a good day of crappie fishing. I decided to put them on a stringer. You might be wondering why we took them out of the live well and put them on a stringer, but that was for the thumbnail. Strictly the thumbnail purpose. Now we're gonna fillet them. Hey, you better watch. You're doing the next one. You gotta be gut boy. Like this. Hey, watch my beer. Don't knock my beer over. Hold this. You're gut boy, okay? Can you say gut boy? Gut boy. Ooh, and then we gotta put, we're gonna put the crappie fillets in one, we'll put the bass fillets in the other, okay? Little eggs in there. It's a girl. Look at the eggs. Ozzy, look. Those are baby crappie. Is it good? Yeah. Do you wanna eat some more? Here. Try some more. 
I wouldn't. No, no, I wouldn't put. I wouldn't eat all those. That was. Uh, that was a joke. <laughs> Ozzy's a big eggs guy. Me and Cole and Josh tried trout eggs. No bueno on the trout eggs. Crappie eggs are good though. Hmm. All right, so there you go. We obviously we got to clean it up, but crappie meat. If you haven't had it, as good as it gets as far as freshwater fish go. Um, white, flaky, delicious meat. I'm excited for it. Next up, we're gonna fillet one of those spotted bass up, see what their meat looks like. And once again, I encourage all of you, if you catch those eight to 14 inch spotted bass, they get so overpopulated all over the country. As long as your regulations allow you to do it, obviously, keep some, try them. And we're gonna try them tonight, right Oz? Yeah. And if they're as good as these crappie eggs were for Osborne, Look, you obviously should be keeping them as well. <laughs> All right, Cole, you think it's going to be like a carp, like all reddish brown meat? Yeah. Orange. Orange. Nope, you're wrong again, Cole. Okay. Beautiful, white meated, baby crappie bass, like Ozzy said. Definitely a little bit more red on it. What is that? It's baby bass. Baby bass. Cole got hooked the biggest bass of his life today, Becky. Cole? Hooked his personal best. Broke it off in two seconds. It's great. The equipment malfunction. Yeah, my equipment did malfunction. I felt kind of bad. Okay. All right, so your hands are going to stink a little bit, but you already have been playing with fish anyway. All right, so this button, that makes it go ouch, right? Yeah. All right, so here we go. So good thing it's got a clamp on it. All right, so here's what we got to do. We got to push the button. Go down right there, okay? All right, let go. See how it's all the way to the, the bone right there? Yeah. Now we gotta follow that and we'll go all the way to right there by the tail, okay? Good, good, good. All right, now we flip it over. Oh. Perfect, look at that. Oh. All right, you ready to push the button again? Oh. Get both hands, both hands. Wow, you did it with one hand. All right, look at that. Oh. We gotta cut the ribs off now. One more step. We gotta cut off the ribs, okay? Can you push the button? Push it. There you go. It's happy. That's a little bass. Mm -hmm. Boom. Look at that. Good job. You're all done? Uh -huh. Give me five. Good job, buddy. You did so good. You really did do good. You're very steady. Even on the small little spotted bass, looks like a solid amount of meat. I have never eaten these before. I've eaten largemouth before in my past. Growing up, we used to eat everything that was a keeper size, but uh, never had the spots. Had smallies too. We made smallies on the river that time. That was good. I don't think we had spotted bass. For the sake of this video, we're gonna say that I've never had spotted bass. Smelling good out here. About to be smelling a whole lot better. That's a lot of freaking meat. Look at all them craps. And the bass, of course. Okay, I know you guys have been watching this video and you're like, wow, that looks difficult. You're out there living the dream, catching fish like crazy, but we haven't stopped really since we freaking started this morning and it's been super freaking fun, but did take some work, of course, too. Look at all these freaking crappie we got filleted up. I don't know how many pounds of crappie that is. I think we only kept like 12, but they were all so freaking fat. That's a round beefcake worth of freaking crappies. And then we got some of these spotted bass as well. We're going to fry them up. Of course, we're going to use the typical milk into the Zetarain's fish fry, which I love. Zetarain's? Zetarain's? I don't know. I'm not a real true Cajun. You guys have to let me know. And then... The oil is already freaking smoking, so we need to uh, get it in there. I think that's canola, maybe vegetable. I think it's vegetable oil, actually. Let's get it going. We gotta keep these separate so we can make sure that we do a proper taste test. We got the crappie and we got the bass right here. So crappie, we're gonna do first. Soak it in that milk a little bit. Make sure we get it completely coated. 
You guys get it. Any rocket science? I mean, I'm not even going to guess and say that it might not be ready here. Look at that. We got the sizzle. Okay, we got one round of crappie done. Now it's time for the bass. Those look good, I'm not gonna lie. Those are probably as close to white meat crappie as you can get. I'm cutting them up into little nuggets, which is either one or two pieces per fillet, depending on how big they are, but they look freaking good. I think they're gonna taste good too. We'll let Osborne be the judge of that even though he doesn't know the difference between a crappie and a bass. We're working on that though. Hey Becky! What do you think will be better? Bass or crappie? Crappie. Ozzy! You think bass or crappie will be better? What? Crappie? How about crappie or bass? He's a monster. Hey, monster boy. Huh? Here's the bass. Oh. Oh. Hey, you tried. Oh. What did you try? The fish. No, you tried the crappie. This is the bass. Are you going to try both? Yeah. Deal. What's better, crappie or bass? Bass. That was the bass. Now try the crappie. Try this one. Yeah. Take a bite of that guy. What do you like better? I like Do you like this? Uh, no, I'm not stealing it from you. This one or this one? <laughs> Which one? Point at it. Which one's better? Uh, That's a one vote for crappie, I think. I don't know if I trust it. Well, crappie or bass? Bass or crappie? Mom? Your vote was crappie? Yeah. Ozzy's vote was unknown? Both. And my vote is... Beer. <laughs> I choose beer. But in all seriousness, the uh, it was almost like it was cooked totally different because the crappie were quite a bit thicker than the bass. Yeah, so um, yeah, so you had more meat to your breading ratio. Maybe next time we should just like pan serum and olive oil. Where's the fun on that? You're right. We'll never do that. I think we voted a tie maybe as a family, but to be honest, the crappie had a little more meat. In the bass, I'd say we're a hair more oily, which you had a little bit more of that red meat, darker meat in it, which I like. I like the darker, redder meat. Not when you go to the uh, the more, the, the extreme of eating carp or something like that. That tasted absolutely god awful when I tried that a couple years ago. I'll probably never do that again. But um, catfish have that, white bass have that red meat, um, and you can get around that. I mean, it tastes good. These spotted bass, were, even though they were small, they were kind of the same, but both tasted super good. Um, I'm just like nitpicking and trying to find differences. It's kind of like the difference between northern pike and walleye. I would compare crappie to the walleye and pike to the bass. Whereas if you like a little more flavor, especially some of those spotted bass, once they probably get up over that like pound to two pound range, um, I wouldn't keep a spotted bass over two, two and a half pounds, definitely. But in that range, they're probably a little more meat and a little bit more flavor than the crappie of the similar size. Um, but if you like that white meat, that flakiness, you can't beat the freaking crappie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Share this with a friend that likes bass or crappie fishing, and maybe they'll be surprised, and you'll be surprised by what they say by it. Hopefully they get super pissed off and write like 37 comments about us eating bass that would be so fun and it would really just like strike a nerve and have a lot of seo comment and clicking placement of this video by you guys being super unhappy about those bass being eaten i don't know share with as many people to be mad as possible thanks for watching members love you guys i'm out of here peace